wine, wine everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Not unless you purchased a ticket to enter the 21st Annual Santa Barbara County Celebration of Harvest. Hundreds of enthusiastic wine lovers crowded the field outside of Rancho Sisquoc, a historic cattle ranch and winery nestled in a scenic canyon of the Santa Maria Valley. Sisquoc means gathering place in Chumash Indian, and it certainly lived up to its name. The crowd of wine lovers anxiously awaited their ceremonial wine glass and road map to the tented feast ahead. Cheers! Over 130 of Santa Barbara County's best wineries, restaurants, and caterers offered tastes of some of their best food and wines. It made for a movable feast of delectable proportions. Happy crowds meandered among the stands, intently searching for wine jewels that had not yet been tasted. Some looked to old favorites with new vintages. Others sought out the elusive boutique wineries that are too small to have a public tasting room. People hopped from booth to booth, giddily taking a sip here, a sip there, discovering a rainbow of wine. Despite the heat, enterprising caterers found a way to keep it cool. The festival offered something for everyone, from beginning wine drinkers to aficionados of the vine. If you are into geeky, is it American or French? Or just mildly curious. Fantastic. The winemakers have it covered. If you like your wine with a little eco-friendly spin, Ampelo Cellars practices biodynamic and organic farming of their grapes. Are you a Pinot Noir addict? Santa Rita Hills producers happily poured it on. From fiddlehead sellers with enthusiastic commentary by head fiddle Kathy Joseph, to Prodigal Wines, a small, family-run artisan winery, all invited attendees to taste their new releases. Is Chardonnay more your game? Many Pinot producers also make Chardonnay, since both grapes like cool climates. Brewer Clifton poured their boutique Pinots and Chardonnays, as did Cottonwood Canyon, whose wines are aged in their local wine caves. Stoltman Vineyards displayed their finesse with Syrah, their Hilltop Syrah a definite crowd pleaser. Beckman also showed their Syrah skill with their Parisma Mountain Vineyard fruit. All in all, the passion and commitment of the winemakers who crafted these estate wines was infectious. Wine tips were shared, as in how to open a wine bottle with a wax seal. Easy once you've seen it done. I have been making myself crazy trying to take the wax off. There were plenty of distractions from the pursuit of wine. Rex Pickett, author of Sideways, happily signed copies of his new book, Vertical, a continuation of the adventures of Miles and Jack. Since the hit movie Sideways, hordes of tourists seeking a similar wine pilgrimage have flocked to Santa Barbara County. Great food was everywhere. Small plates were greedily scooped up from Route 246 to local Italian icon Trattoria Grappolo. Full of life flatbread pizzas of Los Alamos garnered the most ardent fans, popping pizzas in and out of their colorful pizza oven as fast as possible. It helped fuel the hunt for the perfect wine. Chef Rick dished pasta and gossip and encouraged all to come visit his new joint venture with Far Western Tavern. Everything's going to be funky. You can, you can find that, uh, that super funk in the Far, uh, far Western right now. We've, we've uh, already adjusted those menus with, uh, along with the great traditional steaks uh, of the Far Western. An intense afternoon of wine, music, food, and fun took its toll on man and beast. A little buzz, doesn't she? <laughs> she's like, the fumes, the fumes. But she's like, look at the bling. Many were repeat attenders, charmed by the beautiful venue and friendly atmosphere. I think every year it just keeps getting better and better. It's better than anything I've done at Napa. I love coming here. It's uh, more personal. It's just a better venue. As the afternoon wound down, some walked away with a must-buy wine list, some with vines in hand and dreams of winemaking but all happy to have come to this special place in celebration of another year's harvest.